Hi, thank you for joining me. Today we're gonna to do a destructive test using a three quarter inch multi-purpose Gorilla hose with a 500 PSI working pressure. We're gonna use one half inch junior style clamp on each end and we're gonna use this custom clamp hose burst machine. Here we're gonna start off with an industrial Gorilla multi-purpose hose, two MPT thread bandage style fittings and two half inch preformed junior clamps, 201 stainless steel. First, let's go ahead and put our fittings into the hose. What we're gonna do is put this fitting all the way down until the hose mates the bottom of the shank. Now we're gonna insert our clamp over the hose between the two barbs on the shank design. Real simple and just let the tool do all the work. Here we have two inserter hoses. Now that we have our hose assembled, it's time to get prepared for the test. First thing we're gonna do is put some pipe thread on this, on the MPT thread so we don't have any leaks. Then go ahead and connect our quick disconnect. It doesn't require a tool since they're both MPT thread, just get it nice and hand tight. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. And we're gonna lightly attach our cap on. What we wanna do is uh, fill the hose up and we're gonna run all the air out of it and tighten that cap while the, fl the fluid is pouring over it. Now it's time to connect it to our machine. Quick, easy connect. Now we're ready to prepare our test. Let's set the parameters of the test. We're gonna click begin test, new test. We have our machine default to industrial hoses. We wanna make sure that the hose assembly can reach the four to one safety factor on a 500 PSI hose. So it needs to reach at least 2000 PSI. We're gonna set it to 3000 PSI cause we wanna see if our hose clamp fails. We have it set to 3000. We're also gonna raise the pressure drop limit up to 3000. Enter. One cycle since this is a destructive test. Now we're ready to bleed the air out the hose assembly. So let's fill the hose up with water. Now that we have the fluid coming out, it assures me that all the air is gone. There it goes. And we're gonna tighten it down. Now we're ready to begin our test. Okay, we have everything set up and prepared. Let's run our test. Now what we want to do, we want to see the holes fail before any other component on this assembly. Right now we have just crossed the 1000 PSI marker. Eighteen hundred. Two thousand. 